Hey, ninth graders, I'm going to tell you how to do the eight habits of mind quarter two summative poster. Um, so last quarter, you just wrote about each habit and told me how you showed it in class. This time you're going to do a little more mixed media version. You're going to get an A3 piece of paper in class, and you're going to make a poster showing how you did with the um, habits of mind. So at the end of each quarter, we reflect on these. Please take your time completing this assignment between now and the deadline of Wednesday the 18th at 1 p.m. And this is a summative, um, so you'll want to get a good score, but please reflect honestly. Don't just lie and be like, I did amazing at every one, because probably you're stronger in some than others, because that's the way it goes. All right, so how to complete this. First, you're going to want to review the meaning of each habit. Um, and that is on the back of the first page of the packet you'll get in class. So here's the habit, the definition, and some examples of how you could show it. So review them. Then you're going to cut out the habits on page two. So in this packet on the second page, you'll cut these out and don't lose them. These you're going to glue onto your poster so you can score yourself from each habit for each habit. So cut them out, put them somewhere safe. And then on the A3 paper that you can get in class, um, you're gonna include all the habits. You're gonna somewhere place your name and title, quarter two habits of mind, somewhere on the poster, be creative. Um, so you might wanna mock it out or draw a sketch first or lay the, the pieces out on the paper to figure out where you wanna put things. Um, you're gonna score yourself for each habit in the box provided. So that's these things where you'll glue it, you would add a score here, like from one to four, maybe three, two, four, whatever you think you get. Um, the scoring from one to four is right here. Um, so one would be your beginning to show that habit, you're developing, so you're start getting started and making some progress. Three would be you feel pretty for proficient, you understand the habit and do it often. And four would be advanced, like you do it all the time and you show it in a strong way. So you're going to, in your poster, um, score yourself and then show um, what you did. So to show it, um, you can use words, images, lines, color design and organization to explain your ideas. So maybe your poster will have a layout of the ones you did best <laughs> to worst. And you could just set up your poster that way. You can tell I've used this pen tool a lot. Um, or maybe you'll divide your poster into favorites and least favorites. Uh, your poster could also be vertical if you want, um, but you want to show uh, a lot of reflection and evidence. The more reflection and evidence, the better. Um, there's a link here to quarter one exemplars uh, if you find this document on Google Classroom and um, or under the, on the class website under our learning cycles. You'll see the quarter one reflections, and I put some there where people showed good evidence um, for the scores they gave themselves. And you're scoring for this assignment for the summative work. So your completed poster, 100 is your poster is extra special. You did something unique and creative. You went beyond just like putting the words in a picture next to it. Advanced is beyond proficient. It tells you a little bit here, the details about that. Proficient is satisfactory. That means you did it good enough. You might have a couple of errors or some things, a couple of spots could be a little more thorough, but you understood it and you explained each habit. Developing would be you're on your way, but you're missing some stuff. Basic is sort of you got started and abandoned the work. And then no evidence is if you don't turn the poster in at all. And what does this do? Fireworks. So generally you're aiming for proficient, but I think most of you should be able to get work towards advanced on this assignment. As always, remember that 100 or exceptional is rare. It's not that you get 100 and I subtract, subtract points for you doing things wrong. This would be like you really went all out and did something super unique with it. So again, follow the steps in this document.
follow these steps from one to three and you should be successful. Don't skip ahead. Use this to guide you in scoring yourself and use this as you're making your poster to think, how special am I making this? What score am I trying to earn? And these remind you of what the habits are, get familiar with them, do review them before you start making your poster. And then these are what you'll cut out and put on the poster. Remember, you might want to make a sketch or a drawing first. I think that's it. Uh, let me know if you need any help and I can't wait to see what you come up with.